the day. It is. We're gonna do it today. We're gonna do all the things today. We're gonna. You're driving us to the spot. We're gonna go kill a bull, and then we're gonna go ride a horse, and we're gonna go catch a tiger trail. That sounds like a fun day. It does. It's really fun. Yeah. Let's make it happen. We just made it to the spot. Daniel is probably gonna be our driver for the rest of the trip. He did an amazing job. And I can just sit back and hang out. We're here where we were at yesterday morning, but we're about 15 minutes earlier in hopes that we can get in front of the elk. But there's no cows out here today. So yesterday morning they were pushing all the cows out and taking them to the winter range. So we're hoping the elk feel more comfortable and are gonna stay in the field a little bit longer and give us a chance to figure out where they're gonna come out and then get set up and uh, Dude, today's the day. I am filling today. Everything about today just says we're killing a bull elk. So, and plus, can you see that look? This morning has been so awesome. I think we set a record for the action chair as far as how many miles we put on. I think we're a little over a mile into this field. And honestly, like one of the things we wanted out of this whole experience for Daniel was to truly take him hunting. He has the ability with his tag to shoot from a vehicle, side by side truck, whatever. We could definitely do that. And it might come to that. But over the last four days, he's been on so many stocks, got to see a ton of elk in his scope, bugling bulls, cow talks. He's just getting the true feeling of being a hunter in something that he's never been able to do because of the limitations of his normal wheelchair. So these action chairs have been really a game changer. I mean, without that chair, we couldn't help him have this experience. So if you guys know anybody that's in a wheelchair, or if you're in a wheelchair yourself, there's a lot of organizations that own these chairs that will actually donate them out so people can utilize them. And that's how we were able to get this chair for Daniel. The Wine Cup Gamble Ranch made it happen. And uh, there's an organization here in Nevada that was kind enough to loan us that chair. So uh, we gotta go get caught, caught up, but this is just what it's about right here. And it's uh, it's been so fun. We just need one more piece of this puzzle. And this will be the greatest trip we've been on in a long, long time. Okay guys, it's been a fun morning chasing these elk. We actually just got in a position right around 400 yards and had these elk wind us. Wind kind of switched on us when the sun came up. So these trenches literally are perfect for using the chair with Daniel. This one being the best one so far. So these elk, we kind of gave them a pretty good bump to where they wanted to go west. They got right in the mix of some antelope. The elk really do want to come south and bed out in this brush. So we're cutting south through this trench and then we're going to head west to try to cut them off. But Look at this trench. 
literally looks like it was built for this t style of hunt so it's perfect to help us get around and sneak around without being seen so we're gonna just try to see if we can get a little closer but great day of hunting elk so far it's been an awesome time hope you guys are enjoying these daily vlogs we'll, we'll catch back up with you in a little while here we go Well, that's a wrap for the morning hunt. Let's go regroup, see if we can figure out a plan for the afternoon and evening. The elk are calmed down and settled down, but there's really nowhere else for us to go to try to get to them. So instead, um, the executive committee of NAPS all took some serious action. Uh, I believe the person behind this lens be considered the chairman and the president. Um, Mr. Chagnovich should be the vice president. Uh, we have a new member of the team yes. who's snoring. Did Probably. I snore? Oh, yeah. And then I'd like to introduce you to the last member of the executive committee. Meet, meet your newest member to the team uh, sh getting the shots. Another, another snore. <laughs> so instead of laying in the dirt all day, I may as well go back to the, uh, the ranch house and have a proper nap. It's clearly. I was outnumbered, just hanging out awake by myself. You fell asleep. Uh, no, I did not. <laughs> yes, sir. Negative. <laughs> and I got the photos to prove it, folks. <laughs> Champion. All right guys, welcome back to another vlog from out here in Nevada. The hunt was a little slow this morning, so they're gonna get us out here and do some fishing on this private reservoir. The whole team is down here today, but uh, Daniel and Ryan are headed out on the, the boat. And uh, have you ever caught a tiger trout? Never even seen one. Sweet. Really? Yep. So yeah, the goal is to get on, to hook up with a tiger trout, but uh, a couple guys from the ranch are gonna come out here and help us fish. We're gonna be fishing on the, the bank over here. Yep, yeah, right in the corner of the dam right Logan's there. Logan's gonna be casting lines. We're all just kind of take it easy this afternoon. And I guess if we have to, we'll get back out there tonight. Yeah, Alan was saying that they got brown trout, brook trout, tiger trout, rainbows, and largemouth bass. And he said the average trout's about this big <laughs> with fish up to this big. Should be a fun day. Should be it's a fun nice day. Fun. It is chilly, but look at the water. Doesn't get much better than crisp. That. Nice. Okay, I'm just gonna fly it towards them. Coming in hot, coming in hot. That's full speed. Yeah, I'll, I'll start bringing her up. So that's 20, that's 30 miles an hour. <laughs> that's What kind of fish? Rainbow. Nice. Nice work, Dan. That's by far the biggest rainbow I've ever got. A little better than average. BMAC landed a fish and haven't had anything since. Too much pressure. Nobody's taking my advice and going to the casting point though. I'm, I'm working my way there, E. Are you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, mean, I just go straight to the good stuff. That's it though. Be patient. Right there. Just be patient. Up oh, too much wiggle. Whoa. Logan going for distance. This is funny, watching these guys. We got three different techniques. Logan's going for distance. Casey's somewhere in between. Brian's like fishing 10 feet from the bank. But yeah, he's, he's caught the two over here. 
Look at Logan, man. This is like river run to it. Dude, that was a nice one. How's your fishing going? Guys, this is the SH of Hush. For those of you who do not know, Hush stands for hunt, fish. Put those two words together, you get Hush. It surprises me how many people still don't know that. They just thought Hush was like a shh, I'm hunting, like Hush. The belly on that thing. Holy moly. Jeez. All right, yeah. so we're out here on the reservoir. Us non-fly dogs are trying to keep ourselves entertained. We have this really thin layer of ice. We noticed you could set rocks on. So we got three pretty large rocks, just barely light enough to not break. Now we're seeing who can sink it with little rocks. You gotta use a smaller rock to chip away the ice and sink it. So this is what you call cheap entertainment. Dude, coming in. That wasn't even disqualified by the size of the rock. W's. That was smaller than the big rock. 